Hey cruisers, welcome back to another cruise report update from Sun Princess. This is my day eight or after eight days update um, from the cabana portion of our cabana mini suite. I thought I'd come out here and um, there's a little more echo out here. I apologize for that, but I just thought it'd be interesting to do a video from out in the cabana. And I, as always, I've made a few more notes I want to talk to you about just to give you a little more of our impressions about Sun Princess after being on board for a little more than a week. First of all, let me talk about this Cabana Mini Suite. It's been very comfortable. It's very quiet. The bed is comfortable. Uh, anything that I'm not crazy about, I think. Thank you. That was our room steward just giving me the thumbs up. He was in there cleaning up the room, which is why I was out in the cabana. One thing nice about the cabana, if you like to stay in your room while they're cleaning your room, you can just come out to the cabana. I think the biggest com complaint would be the bathroom. It's just very small bathroom. But other than that, it's livable, it's comfortable, it's quiet. There's a creaking noise in here right now. I don't know what that is. It's this door, I think, going to the stateroom. I haven't noticed that in the past. I probably didn't close it all the way. A couple of observations about, I talked in the last video about our dinner at Makoto. And I started thinking about it. And the more I thought about it, the more it started to bother me because when you get this premier package from Princess for $90 per person per day, which is not inexpensive, they promote it that one of the benefits you get is unlimited specialty dining. But then you go to some place like Makoto and you realize it's not unlimited, it's very limited. You're limited to the left side of the menu. So, as soon as you go into Makoto, they start telling you what the limitations are. So I, that you tell me in the comments down below, am I being unreasonable for thinking that? Now we may go back to Makoto uh, before this, uh, or Kai Sushi, whatever it is, before this cruise is over. Uh, maybe for lunch, just have some sushi rolls and just pay the a la carte price. But I find it a little disingenuous and a little bit, um, I think a lot of people are going to feel, uh, maybe not a lot of people, but I think some people are going to feel a little misled when you're told that you get unlimited specialty dining uh, and it's not unlimited. Another benefit that they promote is unlimited casual dining. And so day before yesterday, we went to Alfredo's for pizza, which is one of the casual dining. There's two casual d dining venues. So we went to Alfredo's Pizza for lunch a couple of days ago, and that's one of the casual dining restaurants. And again, from the way I read and understood the premier package is you have unlimited casual dining. Once again, as soon as we sit down and the waitress starts explaining the menu, she starts explaining how limited what we can have is. Because the pizza that I had looked at that I wanted that was on the menu is actually not part of the deal if you have the package. If you have the package, you can get I mean, it covers most of the pizzas, but there's a little section of specialty pizzas, and those come at an extra cost. Now, if you just walk into the restaurant at Alfredo's and you don't have the premier package, you have two choices. You can pay a la carte prices for the pizzas, and I think the pizzas that are included in the premier package are like $8.50 each, something like that. These specialty pizzas, are like $12 each. Well, if you have the Premier package, you still got to pay the $12 for those specialty pizzas. You don't even get any credit. You don't even get the $8.50 credit from the other pizza toward the $12.50. You got to pay the $12.50. I went ahead and ordered one of the specialty pizzas. I told them, I don't care if I have to pay for it or not. That's the pizza I want. But as I started thinking about it, I started thinking, you know, 
I thought it was unlimited casual dining, and there are limits. There are rules, and there's a limit. Now, if you just go to Alfredo's on your own, you have a, a choice. You can pay, I think it's $14, it's either $14 or $14.99, and you can have any of the normal pizzas, and you get a, a salad or antipasti, and a dessert for that price. The other option is you can just go in and pay a la carte prices and everything has an a la carte price. And like I say, the regular regular pizzas that are not on the specialty menu are like eight fifty a piece. So if all you want to do is go in and eat a pizza, you could do that for eight dollars and fifty cents. You wouldn't have to pay the fourteen dollars. If you have the premier package, that $14 cover charge is covered, but all you get are the pizzas on the normal menu. I don't know. Again, tell me in the comments down below, am I being unreasonable? Uh, am I being unreasonable? I guess that's the, the question. Okay, let's go on. Now, the other thing you get are the, as part of the premier package, are these, um, I think they call them ultimate desserts, and they're these uh, big, look like a parfait glass filled with all kinds of ice cream and little pieces of brownies and whatever. There's like four or five different that you can pick from. And I decided to try one of those. Remember, Sunday is my cheat day. So Sunday we had Alfredo's Pizza, and Sunday evening I went upstairs and tried one of these. I think it's called Ultimate Dessert. I can't keep up with all their specialty names. It was very good. And it was included. And any of them that you choose is included. And you can have as many as you want. I don't know how you could possibly eat more than one or two on a cruise or three, but I guess some people do. But it, they, uh, the dessert was very good, the ice cream was very good. Good job on that. Now last night we had dinner at Sabatini's, which in the past, on past Princess Cruises, we've had mixed results from Sabatini's. They are either good, they can be good, it can be average, uh, one time we ate at Sabatini's and it wasn't good at all. Last night, I'm pleased to tell you, it was one of the best meals we've had since we've been on Sun Princess. It was excellent. Every dish came out promptly. It came out hot. Everything was served hot. The food was delicious. The service was incredible. And so Sabatini's on Sun Princess on this trip has been, or was, I should say, amazing. We really had a good experience. Great meal. I had the lamb chops. They're as good as any lamb I've had on a cruise ship, or anywhere for that matter. They're very, very good. That's the good news. I'm going to end on a high note and tell you that's the good news of our eight-day report so far. Thank you for joining me. Now, remember, if you enjoy these videos, do me a favor, please click the subscribe button down below. Don't forget the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when we come out with another video. I will do another update video because we've got some other specialty dining coming up here in the near future. So you don't want to miss that. So thanks for joining me today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help us with our YouTube rankings. And I will see you on the next cruise update. Until then, smooth sailing.